Uh, that is pretty much coming down closer and closer to the top eight over on the undernight side. So the fact that they're so strong here in Melty and then in the other French bread game is actually really, really impressive. All right, so <coughs> Blazing just coming off their win, and let's see if they can manage to bring it together, figure out how to formulate a game plan versus Red Arcuid. And now Kiko hasn't had a chance to play in a little bit, hopefully not too discouraged from their previous loss, trying to figure out how to fight. Ooh, no guard break there. And Blazik already ready to shield on the way down to not get unblockable. Yeah, once again, this is going to be a back and forth um, who can control that full screen versus Blazik, who calls out the air to air and is able to land this hit. All right, Kiko holding down back, trying to press a button, got counter hit by 5B. All right, let's see if Blazik decides to spend meter. There we go. Save jump attempt. A lot of staggers here, trying to see what Kiko Ho does on defense. There's a shield, BC. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that guard cancel, he almost didn't make it, but you get lucky. Blaze Dick trying to stay on the corner, gets thrown into the corner. No combo for Kiko Ho. Oh, oh moon drive activation here from Blaze Dick, but it's Kiko who's going to be able to respond. All right, same side, overhead gets blocked. Kiko Ho keeping pressure, oh. throw back to the corner, no combo. Ah, oh, with the air throw and gets punished on the way down. Blazik controlling this corner. It's gonna go ahead and use that meter to get the AX edge. Safe jump. Once again, staggering on some of these buttons. Tries to get the instant air dash as well in a couple of those moments. Ooh, high shield. shield. Mm. Oh. No response from Blazik by getting shielded, so it gets punished. All right, throw back to mid screen. Oh, no. All right, 236 A from Kikyoho hitting Blazik, probably pressing a button in the air. It gets a fatal confirmed to win the round. Ooh, right as the round intro finishes up, Blaznik ready to hit uh, Kikoho. Delayed it just a bit, but the DP is what's going to allow Kikoho to get escape the corner. And now it's a full projectile, full Ooh. screen. But Blaznik responds accordingly, recovers from that. Uh, all right. Blaznik decides to moon drive upon whiffing that Excalibur dive. So has a lot of meter. Moon drive is not too, you know, even though the moon drive is being run out, that's not too much because you have four bars to work with in case something hits like this. All right, 5C starter. Should spend one bar real quick. There we go. All right, let's, bar, yeah. let's see if this is safe jump. More stagger pressure. Goes to grab. Ah. And another grab. <laughs> very, very uh, waiting for Kiko to try to um, just full on wake up blocking from the, those instances. Not going to be able to punish the Moon Drive DP either. Ooh. All right, back dash away from that block swing attempt by Kiko Ho. Blazing doing a good job of making sure it, uh, uh, they got tagged by the Moon Skill rings there, unfortunately. Going to get full corner carried, spend meter. All right. Oh, goes, goes for an air throw reset. That was very cheeky for Kiko Ho. Oh, there's the Moon Drive from Blazing, but gets hit by two feet. Might, uh, he might be dead. Yeah. Uh, uh, scaling? Mm, yeah, no. scaling. Okay, all right. Uh, Blazik tried to jump, got hit on jump startup. I'm surprised Kikoho tried to do that version of the combo where he does arc drive first as opposed to use one bar, get get the three bars, and then use three bars. Maybe he wasn't sure if he would if the combo would work, so he just did arc, uh, arc drive right away and just got the knockdown immediately. That might have been it, especially when you're so close to uh, well, rather being in top eight and you're so close, you want to play it as safe as possible to um, keep being mindful of many of the resources on the screen. But we have Blaznik. He's going to go for that hard knockdown. Safe jump. Oh, counter hit 2C. Kikoho probably trying to mash or mash 5A. Spin another bar. No, just goes for an OTG down. Ooh, mm, good throw attack. Oh, and Blaznik walking backwards gets clipped by 2C. All right, super jump, super jump. Same side. Oh, and a fuzzy mash. From Blaznik, should be able to end the round. Has to spend meter? Yes, we do. And that is just such, such smart decision making here from Blaznik. Kikoho still adjusting as needed. A couple of uh, able to get the invincibility EX edge. Clashing right there, but it, no player gets the opportunity. All right, Kiko kind of playing a little bit more safe, trying to make sure they don't get rushed down, but unfortunately get pinned near the corner. Immediate throw attack, too, once again. And now Blazing just trying to, yep, uh, somehow get a clean hit in. Kiho is doing a good job being evasive, not trying to get pinned down once again. Up, oh, jumpy. Kiko gets his turn. Trying to wait for a response from Blazing. Oh, oh a fatal counter, and it's going to be Blazing who's going to go on the other side of things. 
Has three bars of meter to work with, so it's gonna go ahead and use, spend that first meter. Moon Drive activation is still in play here. Oh, oh there goes the counter hit from Blazik. All right, spend another bar. We're gonna do an air throw in there and see what Kikoho does on defense. Ah! Oh, the full punish! Nicely done here, and we'll clean it up to go back on that step four, tying it up against uh, Kikoho. All right. So, one game apiece. Uh, the spacing there at the end was very important for Blazing to be able to bait out that charge heat from Kikoho. Yeah, we saw a little bit from that player camp, taking a big deep breath, smiling, understanding that, like, okay, we can defeat Kikoho here. Oh. He's got like smart. A low shield gets blown up on the charge. Scalibur dive. That is an overhead when you charge it. All right, launcher. That was a lot of damage. It was almost 5K. Trying to bait out a throw attempt from Kikoho with the air dash back. Stagger pressure. All right, back to mid-screen. Blazing goes, but gets fatal by jumpy. But no, full oh, control from Kyo. Unfortunate. Blazing, potential set point here. That quick recovery of costing Kiko. Not exactly what he wanted there. And this is also another portion where he didn't want to actually get hit here. But Blazing. He's gonna get the safe jump, gets the side switch, but the jab from thanks to the moon drive activation from Koho is gonna allow Koho to stay alive and back off just a little bit to get more pressure. All right, Koho has to has to make sure they don't get hit by anything silly because that might give ooh, the clash from the moon drive. A very uh, a lot of player the play is playing at a very high pace near each other in a lot of situations that are pretty scary, where a, a counter hit might lead to a fatal. So right now Blazenik getting some passive meter, gets launched by the A follow-up, doesn't want to shield back. Yeah, the close calls from both players and have everybody at the edge of their seats. Some of this jab gets shield launched, but not going to be able to fully hit confirm. The instant air and dash off the overhead, but not going to land anything. This is just pure block pressure. Oh, there it goes, the instant air dash. This, no, oh no. All right, small drop from Blazenik. And oh. back dash gets tagged by charge 5B. And now we are one round apiece. Last game, last round for both players. All right. It's looking super dicey, but it's Blazenik who's going to get the first hit here. Both players sitting on four bars of Magic Circuit, and it's going to be Blazenik who's going to spend that first bar. Woo! Wake up Fuzzy 5A from Kiko, manages to get out afterwards. Might spend some meter. There we go, gets a little knockdown, same side ring. Oh, stands up too early, thought the overhead was coming, but it was a partial charge. No confirm on the ring there. There's a moon drive from Blazenik. There's a moon drive for Kikoho. Gets a fourth throw. Recovery, but we got the fatal counter thanks to the DP, and that is death there. Kiko popping off a bit, able to be moving on forward, even on the loser side of the top eight. Very nice play from Kikoho. Uh, it, was, it looked like it was going to get away from him a little bit because a lot of situations where he would normally have uh, more disciplined defense, he was mashing. Not too often, but you there are some spots where you kind of are, are trying to decide if you should mash, if you should like mm -hmm. block a little bit more. Maybe you think maybe if I shield this, they won't be ready. So I do shield, shield follow up. But Blazing was a lot ready in a lot of those instances, and Kiko just had to kind of somehow reset their mind when game three came around. So yep. it was a little sketchy, but he pulled it out. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about it earlier in some of those matches. A lot of close calls, too close for comfort for 